Walmart, went in, came back out, and my truck wouldn't start up. My car is a 2004 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited, and on a day of preparation, I failed to figure out the problem. I left the vehicle and come back on the Sabbath. However, I did not get it moved until I paid for the tow truck early upon Sunday morning or the first day of the week. The problem was a starter, which I later found out on the Sabbath. Yeah, so I'm having a problem not being able to start up my Jeep 2004, uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube have the same problems. I've tried uh, cleaning off the terminal. There's a, some corrosion on the terminals. I've switched out the starter relays with my AC uh, to the starter relay. That hasn't worked. Uh, it's actually here at Walmart where this happened for me and I left the car here yesterday and I'm back here and still nothing also lost my rubber mallet so Yahweh willing I'll be able to get this out I've even tried starting it to neutral which I wasn't able to even get the car into neutral yesterday that didn't work put it back in park you know I don't know man, I just need to get it started so I can get it down. I've been told I could buy a terminal, a new starter relay, but I don't want to waste it. So this is the starter right here. And it's so dark on here, you really can't see it properly. But there it is, that's what I'm having to hit. Unfortunately, I'm out here by myself. Uh, Cause my cat stayed home and I have a friend who said he's gonna help. Watch my next video called, What a Jeep Starter Looks Like, to see a clear video of a 2004 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited Starter. The engine is a V8 4.7 liter, it's on the passenger side about midway under the truck's chassis by a large part of the muffler pipe. Zine.